Greetings from the Theme Rex team. Today we will show you how to change your site's logo. Usually you can find your logo in the site's header, and if you scroll down, there can be a logo in your footer. As you can see, the logo is light on the dark background. Also, your logo variation can be dark on the light background, as we can see on the About page. We can also take a closer look at the light logo if we hover over the Edit with Elementor header. Let's click on the Logo widget and here we can choose between Main Logo, Secondary Logo, and a Custom Logo. And the same about the Dark Logo. If we click on it, we can see that it's the main theme logo, but we can change it for something else. Now, let's return to our website and change the main and secondary logos. The first way is to change it with the site's dashboard. Navigate, Theme Panel, Theme Options. Here we can customize our logo settings. We can use the site's name as a logo if the logo image is not provided. We can zoom in and out. And finally, we can provide a dark logo for light backgrounds and a light logo for dark backgrounds. You can also see that for retina displays, we can upload our logos with higher resolutions. The other way to change our logos is to use the customizer and we need logo and site identity settings. Here we can change the site title, tagline, and a site icon, also known as a favicon. Let's change it. I upload a different one from my computer. Crop the image and save it, and the favicon was changed successfully. Now, if we scroll down, we can see exactly the same settings as in the theme panel. Dark logo, dark logo for retina, light logo variant, and a light logo for retina. Let's change the light logo. Again, I will upload one from my computer. Good, it was changed successfully. Let's do the same with the dark logo for light backgrounds. It may ask you to crop the image, so let's do that. Good, let's publish the changes and go to our main page. The light logo in our header was updated. Now let's check the dark logo. It was changed as well. And good news is that the logo was changed everywhere on our website, even in the footer. If we scroll up and click Edit with Elementor, Header, now we understand the difference between the main and secondary logo, and we can change it depending on the background. And don't forget to publish the changes. Hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and see you in the next videos.